Good day everybody, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to animate in Creo Parametric. This is a sample animation video of a 3D part. There you go, that's a quick rendering. I'll play that again. Just so be aware there is two types of animation. There is viewport rotate animation and also the moving part animation. So if you want this to, if the parts for this to move, you can also do that as well. So I'll just quickly show you that here. So I have one here where, oh no, that's the wrong one. I'll just right click to activate the right animation. So this one shows the part exploding. This one here shows the part being animate in animated using the views around it so that's two type of animation so i'll just go in crow parametric here okay so to animate you need to do it in assembly view in the assembly mode so you make a, a new part in part you need to make a new assembly and bring the part into assembly so you can bring the parts by clicking on assembly and open the part but yeah once you have your model in assembly you can animate that animation is activated in application in animation this only works in assembly so that's why I'm telling you to do it in assembly <laughs> okay now to to animate the I'm gonna go over the first method which is to animate ha how to transition between views and using that as your animation. So if you go to in model tab, go to manage views. Here you can create the views for your model. So if you say, um, this is where you create, let's say I'll create a new one. I'll name that 0A front. So the animation works on sort of like twinning technique so it'll animate to to the next setting so I'll go OA OB this time and I'll go right and I'll make one more I'll rotate this time to the back so I'll go OC back so once you set your views it's enough Im information for the program to make an animation between these two views, these views. So I'll make an animation of these three views. So let's go into application, click on animation. Okay, in here is where we can animate. I'm gonna delete this one that was from before. Okay, so there's two types of animation. You gotta click either explode or snapshot. Explode is to animate your model based on the views that you created or you can do snapshot which is uh, um, about how to animate with your parts moving. If you have parts moving and you take a snapshot you can animate between the snapshot. So the first one is um, it's, I'm going to name it animate views click ok and there will be a red dot that means this one's activated to activate the other one right click activate so once you start there will be an empty bit here and basically you just go to here and click the views you created OA front specify the time this one's at the start click ok it will create a keyframe here and I'll go to my next one put that three second value free click apply and go to C and I'll put seven there and I'll click apply again and it'll create a keyframe at different time intervals this one here will set how long the animation to be I'll make mine seven second and you can change your frame right here and I'll make that 25 and you can quickly preview that 
there you go so just save that let's stop that okay let's bring it to the front and play and that's what it looks like so basically some of the buttons here these are to just set the preference you don't really need to worry about that too much but here you can set the different types of different motor animation keyframe sequence I'm not too sure too much about that but uh, events events is you can mark at different different points in the animation and here is where you animate the different uh, view views this is you can set the transparency animation and the style and over here is just where you edit the time you can ever edit the the length of the video but okay so once you create that you can go to playback playback will play the video in real time so this is seven seconds it will show your video for seven seconds you can bring it back and you can save that you can save it as a movie file mpg or avi as well or as a range of images and you can set the image size you can set this pretty high as well and also the quality if you untick this it will render really quick but the quality is really low very low it will render under about two minutes for this animation but if you click further render it will render based on the re rendering settings that you have for the program and you can really make really further realistic renders oh, actually I'll cancel that okay let's go back and work make the second method of animation which is snapshot and I'll write animate snapshot okay that's okay go okay and I'm gonna talk about how to make snapshots let's save this alright snapshots are capture of your parts in different positions so let's say if I go here I'll show a number of snapshot snapshot number one snapshot number two so okay let's go over this so a snapshot is when you animate and you have you can change the position of the parts so let's say you have your model and you have constraints for all the parts together you need to go in and disable them go in and disable for each one each one so for all your parts if you have constraints on you can go edit and click on placement and click on all your constraints and disable them I'll disable them already so they 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 don't stay together if they're enabled they won't in they won't animate in the video so you gotta go in disable all of them for all the parts just go in and disable all the constraints and that will allow you to animate so when you once you disable the constraints you can move the parts but first I'm gonna create a snapshot number one so so you take a snapshot of your in initial model with all the parts together now I'm going to make a snapshot of the parts moving so to move parts you can just um, let's undo that you can drag them click and drag so make sure you disable the constraints but once you disable the constraints you can right click and move them so let's say I'm gonna explode this really far away so just right click edit definition and drag the arrows and move it where you like you can even rotate them slightly so I'll try to rotate them slightly as well rotate drag the arrows and I'll just do one more for the back edit definition so I'm just gonna say it again make sure you disable the constraints 
let's move that back so you can move them and animate them so you move your object click on drag component and make another snapshot so basically it's snapshot number one is all the parts together and snapshot number four the parts move away so once you have that we can go into animation so make sure we're working with the animation snapshot and from here click on keyframe sequence and select your snapshot so I'll make it um, put a time as well so I'll make it click number four and I'll set this to five and click the plus button to add the snapshot click OK and once you click play it will show your animation so I'll set this to seven seconds and click OK and go to playback the snapshot animation is not um, doesn't take in consideration of the view orientation so but yeah there you go that's seven second animation there so you can rotate it and play that and it'll show still showing the same animation but uh, yeah that's it that's what animation is about so I have I'll just pause this so you can render and go back to create so I had a few few example ones here okay that one's okay let's activate this uh, let's go out of that and go into activate my number three make sure everything's together okay so let's get animation again I'll show you a few other samples activate to work with the other animations you have but that's the end of tu the tutorial that's how to animate so cycle through that and have a play with that so that's how you animate and save it showing you the two techniques of animating with views and animating with moving parts uh, that's it for today. If you have any questions, let me know. See you later, everybody.